Thomas Matisse, the Gunna Man from Cleveland, promises to come out blasting against the undefeated and very heavy-handed and determined Ramiro Sasania. And then, for what Sergio believes to be our fight of the night, Ray Ford takes a massive step up in competition to face the one-loss former flyweight champion of the world, Jesse Magdaleno. Then it's title time. MJ Murdajan Akmadalia puts his unified 122-pound titles on the line against the nightmare from the Philippines, Marlon Tapales, Southpaw versus Southpaw. And then, of course, our main event. Last year's youngest boxing champion goes down a weight class to try and pick up another world title. Can he do it against Mexico's Christian Gonzalez, who promises to make his own dreams come true tonight in San Antonio? There it is again. Exchange jabs. Matisse, at the very least, has to win this round. Matisse is loading up big time on that right hand. I think that shook Sasenia right now. He's got to follow oh, up. Oh, that one certainly did, and he almost went down. He's in trouble, and he's firing back. He's got the Mexican courage in him, but he just needs to stay away. He needs to stay away, but he can't. Here comes Thomas Matisse. Matisse is rocking him. They stop it. Oh, no. He stopped it. I don't That is a terrible stoppage for Rafael Ramos. I do not like that. I, I don't think it's going to heat up because if it heats up, it's going to be at the detriment of the shorter fighter, Magdaleno. Just the fort's way too sharp right now. I think he has to wait until the middle round to try to time and pounce on, on Ford. No, oh, is, that, is that a knockdown? It should be. It is. I thought it might have been behind the head, but Magdaleno went Whoa. down quick. No, it should Five. be a knockdown. That, 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 that rocks even though it was blocked. Seven. It was inside of the hey. head. Hey, are you all right? Yeah. All right, let's see how savage Ray Ford can be right now as he goes for the finish. Yeah, no complaints from Magdaleno on that one. No, no, he's rocked. That, that shook him. Oh. in the face. Got him again. There's some swelling on the right eye as well. Ford should go to the body. Ford should go to the body. Magdaleno's covering his, his upper body a little bit too much, leaving the, the ribs exposed. He's excellent at a lot of things. I mean, uh, a lot of people would just say, well, this is just another, you know, Floyd Mayweather-esque type performance. But when you're actually seeing what he's doing, I mean, he's throwing every punch in the book except the uppercut. But the ring generalship, the defense, as you're talking about, and he is putting power behind those punches. I mean, he dropped, he already dropped Magdaleno. He already hurt him a couple of times. He's doing what he has to do. Look, those are all hard shots right and he there. Goes down. Down goes Magdaleno for the second time. He's got the look on his face that he just doesn't Six. want anymore. And it was a body shot that put him down. Six. That's exactly the only nah. thing that was missing right? from Raymond Ford's You're performance. Right Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here in San Antonio, we go to the judges' score totals. Ellis Johnson and Roberto Torres both scored about 119 to 107. Sergio Caiz, 116 to 110. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. He's still undefeated and still the WBA Continental America's featherweight champion, Raymond Savage Ford. So he gets a medal, Sergio then it's not a participation medal. I don't like participation trophies or medals. Chris Mannix probably got a lot of those growing up. <laughs> he threw a, a, an interesting line in there. He said, it's just a matter of time, but didn't really elaborate. You think he was saying it's just a matter of time before we knock this guy out? I don't think so. I mean, this is, this is, a, we're in the ninth round. This is the first round that I see MJ Akhmedaliev fighting like Akhmedaliev. Other than that, Topolis has been in, in, uh, in this fight, if not ahead. Look at like shots like that. Clean left hand followed by a right hand. No oh, big left hand. These Sneaky. are clean shots by Topolis. So Topolis trying to upset the apple cart here in San Antonio. But you never know what the judges are seeing. Great start to the fight for the Philippine, but Akhmedaliev has done much better the last few rounds. There's a right hand. A clean right hook right there. Tabas could take a punch because that was a <laughs> that landed right on the chin.
Dahlia making the fourth defense of his WBA and IBF titles. But this the most competitive for sure. Good shot, yeah. Dr. Dahlia. Yeah, I think that finally hurt to pause a little bit. You can see the, the crowd trying to urge MJ on. Tapaz comes back with a big left hand of his own. This is, a, this is a probably one of the best runs for Akhmadalia, but Tapaz still can land punches like that. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here in San Antonio, we go to the judges' scorecards. Sergio Calles, 115-113, Tapales. Javier Alvarez, 118-110, Ahmad Ali. And Roberto Torres scored this bout 115-113 to for your winner by split decision. And the new he did WBA it. and IBF he Super Nightmare and rightfully so. The judges got it right. I'm glad this man got the decision and the new unified champion. Marlon Tapales deserved this victory. Akhmadaliev at some sports books listed at a 20 to 1 favorite. But Marlon Tapales, the nightmare from the Philippines, came in and pulled off one of the upsets of the year so far. The Philippines have a new champion, a new unified champion. And Marlon Tapales. Incredible. Rodriguez just missed with the right uppercut. This crowd waiting for Ben to land another big shot, get him fired up. I want to see Ben start stabbing Ooh. Gonzalez to the body. That's going to open up the shots right there. Bam Rodriguez just missed a big left hand right now to the chin. You talk about that chin being up in the air, Sergio. That one was like a T-ball. Did you move as much as this guy, Sergio? <laughs> you know what? Yeah, but I was a lot smoother with it. You know, good body shot. There it is. That's what Bam Rodriguez needs to do. He landed a nice right up because of the body set up a big overhand left. He can still get this stoppage, but it's going to start with the body. I mean, what do you expect Christian Gonzalez to do? He's not a knockout puncher, you know? So this is his fight just to make, he's a spoiler to make guys look bad. Of course, he wants to become a champion, but he knows that he's outclassed. He cannot, he can fight off Ben Rodriguez, yep. but he can't control the fight. He looks a little off right now, does Gonzalez. No more body work from Bam Rodriguez. It was just neglected. And that's the reason that Christian Gonzalez was able to make it to the final round and continue moving. Bam Rodriguez is headhunting, and uh, there's this awkward rhythm, this upper body rhythm that Gonzalez had that just made it difficult for Bam to land something cleanly to the head. So a good performance by Christian Gonzalez, but not enough to derail Jesse Bam Rodriguez. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here in San Antonio, we go to the judges' scorecards. Jesse Reyes, 118-110. Javier Alvarez, 117-111. Lisa Jampa, 116 to 112. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And the new WBO flyweight champion of the world, Jesse Bam Rodriguez. 
Well, we gave credit to Gonzalez for winning a couple of rounds, and the, so did the judges. It was an 8-4, 9-3 type fight, but still unanimous for Jesse Bam Rodriguez.